hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel this is the second uh, video that I am doing a, a yarn unboxing the first one I it didn't have room it was all finished 33 minutes I can only tape uh, on one of this camera I do have another camera which I can only tape 22 minutes unfortunately and uh, everything that if I add if I do editing uh, the quality of the video goes down which I don't like so this is the reason I try not to uh, make my videos long enough if, if it's too long then the quality falls apart and it gets blurry I don't like the look of it Okay, let's come to the yarn. Remember, I bought this yarn from Harshner's and I paid eight American dollars. I will put the link so you guys can call it. It's called Rico Yarn Fashion Modern Twit Erin Yarn. And um, I think it's expensive for eight American dollars for this yarn. I don't know. And I paid custom fees. So, so what I've been doing is I've been looking all over Canada who has this yarn. <laughs> which I looked uh, I, I buy Angora Rabbit from Canada she only sells 80% though it's uh, and uh, I'm looking for 100% it's really hard to find Angora Rabbit 100% so she brings them from Italy and then she sells them on uh, on Etsy so I looked at it it's the same yarn but it's only done in one ply this is two ply like two strands of yarn if you look at it can you see so she only had the one ply i don't know the quality but she had it on hers it has silk in it this one doesn't have silk it was only 60 percent wool uh 20 percent polyamide and 20 percent viscose you know what i mean viscose is not silk so i thought to myself it's cheaper compared to this eight dollars for the small 50 gram of yarn so i ordered it took me a while because I, I kind of hesitated to buy it. So there's 900 gram here. Let's open this bad boy and see what the yarn looks like. Okay, so just arrived today again. This one took uh, almost two weeks, I would say. Yeah, she shipped it on the second. Not two weeks, eight days? Well, if you, if you don't count Saturday and Sunday, right? Uh, it's coming from Ontario. Oh, she put them in bubble. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did order cashmere yarn as well. And she only had 100 gram. Let me open this because this came out first. So I just, she only had 100 gram. I said, what can I make with this, right? Because I do have Angora Rabbit. I can add that. I do have 100% cashmere my stash oh see it's not this isn't cashmere it says 40 percent angora no 25 percent cashmere 15 percent baby merino polyamide 20 percent i don't feel the cashmere i don't feel the angora i don't know it's really thin i need to do two ply make something out of it I don't know 100 gram what can I make 100 gram a hat a hat for myself I don't know I have to think about this I do need to add another yarn maybe more Angora Rabbit into it I do have uh, this color Angora Rabbit yeah it says it's 40% Angora in it but no baby Angora it's called yeah it is thin it's it's like a one weight one i would say one maybe not even one you know it's really thin it says baby merino i don't know i just uh i need to work with it yeah let me put this aside she puts them in these individual bags i like her ship oh she sent me a comb oh that's another thing i have to divide this to two that's why Oh, here it is. It's supposed to be 900 gram. Let me weigh this. Well, it's in a cone, right? Oh my god. Yeah, it's not the same yarn. No, it's not the same yarn. See, this one has more uh, tweed in it. See? This one doesn't. 
oh well okay um 60 percent wool 25 well this was supposed to have uh silk too. i'm going to weigh this i'm just you know curious because i did order 900 gram i'll be right back Okay, I did weigh it. It's 945. 945. Yeah, uh, I'm just thinking. This is really thin. I'm going to make this three ply. Yeah, definitely, because it's really thin. I thought I could make it two ply. Even two ply is too thin. So when I make it three ply, maybe I can add a different yarn into it with the same color just thinking yeah this one is definitely it's not the same i thought it was the tweeds well if you look at it it does has tweeds in it but uh it's so tiny right that's another thing so uh so this one is uh 60 percent merino wool uh 25 silk 15% polyamide. I think um, the silk, this is silk too. It says viscose, maybe. I don't know, but this is really soft. I wish they carried this in uh, Canada. Did I do a good thing? If I saw the yarn, I wouldn't have buy it, bought it. Yeah. That's the thing. When you buy it online, you don't know what you're going to get. But, um, I don't know I need to uh, start on this right away and I was planning to do that with you guys but uh, when you receive a cone there's no way you can start it that's another thing so my plans are down the flush the <laughs> I don't plan anything yeah I don't know why she sent me a cone though she usually sends like this because she had total of nine and I looked at it the the I call it ingredients like it, it, it was the same 60% wool and uh, 25% well this one has says viscose but I thought you know maybe they mislead it I don't know but uh no it's not the same this is not the same and this one I paid eleven dollars and four cents in uh, Canadian let me just check for American uh, American. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so eight dollars, but it's hundred gram. But the thing is, this is thin. Yeah, that's another thing. Is it worth it to go and buy it from Hershner's? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So well, what I'll do is uh, I will knit knit this. Uh, years ago, I bought a sweater from my husband, and I looked at it. It had it's like twenty years old, and um, I will share it with you. Twenty years uh, years ago, I bought a sweater from my husband. He doesn't wear it. He never does. It just sits in his closet. Maybe I don't know. He, he wore it in twenty years. Maybe he wore it ten times. Not even. So um that's why i don't knit for him because he does he never wears sweaters cardigans he never does none does my son so that's another thing but i do wear it in the house like i have a cardigan i even donated my cardigan my house a uh, house coat that i had i donated so i can make myself more because uh, i have lots of yarn right so uh that's the thing it it, it feels it looks like the same yarn but his is more yellowish. This is a mustard color. And mustard looks good on me. Yeah, I know that for sure. So uh, let me, what what can I do? I can't, uh, I need to make this three ply. But I need to weigh it, right? So 900 divided by three. It's uh, going to be 300, 300, 300 each. And I, do I have enough yarn to make a sweater for myself? I don't know. Maybe I'll make it three quarter. I don't know. What, I have to check that out. That's the reason I'm going to do top down. And I was going to start it with you guys. But uh, if I started with this, the color doesn't even match. See, this one is more darker than this. This is lighter. 
So that's another thing. I do have mohair yarn. Maybe I might add mohair to this. So I can do two ply. Yeah, I can do two ply. And then I can add that mustard uh, mohair. Definitely. So uh, instead of starting on that uh, uh, sweater that I have started, I did uh, cast on 70 stitches for this. And uh, so I will, uh, what I'll do is I will, let's see, uh, see how I sewed, I can't believe it, look where I sewed the tag, it's going backwards, <laughs> it's going inside, well I'm not going to take it apart, That this is how I know that this is the front, this is the back when I put a tag. Because, uh, you know, it's really hard to figure it out. And I even do, did short, short rows on the bottom when I was dividing the body part. But still, it, it's here. So uh, on this one, I'll do it here. So it will go down. The, the back will be higher. Uh, maybe I have to do over two inches. Yeah, that's another thing. So I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I just... Uh, <laughs> You guys are seeing my reactions live, and I will uh, post this right away. So uh, definitely uh, stay tuned uh, for that <laughs> video. Well, it's been uh, almost 12 minutes, so uh, that's what I'll do. I will come back, and I'll get the yarn ready, and I will do a tutorial, and uh, we'll go from there. So this, uh, the, car, the tutorials that I do uh, for a top down it's for every size you can start with 40 inches for a v-neck shrug if you want cardigan all you need to do is do your increases depending on your size and I gave give you those all those uh, inches and how, how long you need to knit for your size so uh these tutorials are not only for one size i know i'm a plus size but i give you all the information and that never changes <clears throat> that's what i do so uh, i'm going to start up with 90 stitches and then i will give you more information on how to knit top down Benzi, are you watching i don't know because uh, she messages me a lot she comments please teach me how to knit a sweater well i'm already doing a tutorial i'm trying to teach but the thing is uh you know every size is different so uh, when you're a plus size you need to knit more to get that uh chest area uh, the measurements for your chest but if you're a small i think she was an extra small so she doesn't even knit, have to knit that long as uh, i'm knitting when you are extra small, seven inches from uh, uh, from where you, after when you do the collar, you start doing your increases. You just need to knit seven inches down. That's all you need to do and divide the body part. So it's very simple for small size. But again, for a larger size, you need to knit, knit, knit until you have the measurements you need. So uh, stay tuned for that tutorial. I'm just trying to figure out the yarn of course right it, it's just the plan didn't go through as i was planning to because i thought it would be the same yarn i don't know that's what it looks like in the pictures i looked at it it's so tiny though the tweeds the uh, yeah see i like the blue the blue there's blue in it uh, baby blue yeah i fell in love with it but it's so expensive again it's eight american dollars for a 50 gram if i buy two then it's uh double that price 16 and it's 50 grams so i need to buy at least 10 10 of this it's costing me more that's another thing and there's no cashmere in it it's just wool it says it doesn't let you know what's in it it's just wool so that's another thing when it's just wool you don't know right when you don't know then uh you go with the cheaper place and uh, being custom, uh, that's the thing. It's like, her surprise, you got custom $300. And then you go, my God, that's more than I paid for the entire uh, entire uh, order, right? You just don't want to pay that. I did pay. I had to pay because I needed and I ordered through it with the customer. I know the customer. I had to charge the customer. But that's not right. Right? <laughs> but that's the thing. So, uh, 
yeah i don't feel good but i did for even for myself i did pay lots of custom fee hundred dollar for for a twenty dollar package i did years ago and uh, that's why i tried to stay away for from that and i didn't buy for years and years that i didn't buy then I'm back again buying. I should put a stop to this. So 2023, I'm not going to swear. <laughs> I'm not going to buy yarn. I don't want to buy yarn as I am surrounded with yarn. And uh, yeah. $20 custom fee is not bad. That's the thing, right? It's like a surprise. I was watching. Um, uh, uh, I'm for a sock. I need to knit socks because uh, lately my son's socks, I just bought them from, I'm not going to give you a brand name. I just bought it like a couple of months ago and he doesn't wear them every day. That's the thing. He has so many socks. So the socks that he wore that I bought and it's a brand name, it, ha it has huge holes in it. And I said, and they're wool and the cotton, good quality, and I paid good money for them that's the thing I can't fix them but if it was a knit sock I could fix it fix it easily I could I do have a tutorial for that if you're interested but the thing is uh I said to myself I don't want to pay $40 per uh, uh, socks so I want to knit myself so I've been looking into socks machines and they have these 3d socks machine and this uh, host was uh, doing a review about it. She lives in Canada. And the way she explains, it cost her $1,000 for the sock machine. It's a 3D print from the USA it came. And she had to pay over $100 shipping fee. <laughs> it's a, like a nightmare. Like, okay, if you pay, you know, $1,000, if you order it through Canada, you pay GST, but it's not a $100 GST. There's another lady in Canada I found, but no one bought it from her. So I don't have, I don't see any reviews about it. I don't know, you know, how it works and it's plastic. Even with these adding machine, my counter broke, right? I paid like almost 300 for it. So yet I have to think about these and uh, my my arm is hurting because of too much knitting and I don't want to knit socks because you need to knit, knit with uh, smaller needles and uh, short wires like this 16 inch to knit a socks because I did knit socks socks well I do have wool socks and I wear them every day every day. I repair them. I never have holes. My son does. I don't know why. He never used to have it. But these uh, ones that I bought, I don't know. Maybe the quality isn't good. Because I never saw him have socks. Like he yeah, he has his socks in his drawer for over 10 years. He's been wearing and there's no holes in it. So, um, you know, you're thinking the quality is down probably. Yeah, but the money is, the, the price is expensive. Right? So I've been uh, searching for a sock yarn uh, machine. Yeah, and because uh, I have so much thin yarns, like uh, these yarns that they came, they're pretty thin. Like you can make you can make socks with these because they're thin. But this is really thin. That's another thing, because it has wool in it, it has polyamide in it, and then I can do two ply and I can make socks. But I I want to make a sweater for myself. My friend, uh, she bought it. Thank you, not on the marabola. She uh, she bought the same from turkey she bought it of course way cheaper and then uh, so she knit herself and it looks so good and I fell in love with it so I said I'm gonna make one like she did knit one like she did so we're, we can wear it together <laughs> oh, well she lives in Turkey I live in Canada that's another thing but uh yeah and uh Jenim Kaldı Kazanza Jenim Kaldı that's what they say when you uh, inspire it and uh, you want to knit it for yourself. Yeah. So, uh, I, unfortunately, I can't start the sweater, like I said, because uh, I need to two ply it. And then mohair. I have that mohair, but I don't know where it is. So I need to hunt for it. It's in bags. I put them in bags because I never put. I do have a couple of yarns in front of me that I need to knit them with the knitting machine. So they're always in front of me. So 
I know that I will pick them and I will knit them. So I kind of emptied the table over there, but there's still yarn there. And most of my yarns are in bags because of the dust, right? And uh, I, it, do, it does get dusty. And I always dust around the house, but uh, yeah, it, it, get, it, it does get very dusty. So that's why I'm very cautious. Put your yarn in bags, no matter what. Put some little, I don't know, fabric softener something in the bag so you won't smell the bag you know, like chasses you can make chasses i have a recipe for that as well in my uh youtube channel so you can check that as well so i'm gonna end this video unfortunately <laughs> i couldn't start the sweater i wanted to start it today and then uh do the you know tutorial and with you guys uh so uh, i will come back to do that unfortunately uh, on another day so as soon as I find that mohair yarn I will add that to that at least it will give some thickness on the yarn and uh, maybe more strong because it is 60 percent yeah it is uh 60 percent wool it says silk in it but I think it's viscose I don't know this one is viscose so but it is soft this one has polyamide in it too as well so that's another thing yeah, this one says it has uh, polyamide, so maybe when it gets to ply, it, it will become softer. I don't know, because if this is, there's lots of yarn in here. Yeah. But I don't want to add anything else into it. I just want the pure of this wool. Need to think about it. Should I add mohair? Write it on the comments. Should I add mohair or should I just knit it with that uh, yarn itself? The original yarn. Okay, so I'm going to end this video. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed because it is really thin. It said that it was one weight, I believe. Let me just look at it. Because I did, yeah, it says one fingering sock, sock yarn. But no, that's really thin. <laughs> Now, fortunately, it is really thin. You guys take care, and I'll see you on my next video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. Uh, I am planning to make leggings, so that's on my next do list. Uh, those hats, I'm still uh, thinking about the hat. I only have one ball of this. Like It has to be wool. When you are wet blocking it, it has to felt a little bit so it can, uh, the one that I did, uh, uh, the tutorial, I think I knit it too long, five inches from, uh, uh, from the brim to the crown. So I think it's a little bit too long. I'm going to go with four inches this time and then we'll see. I just did the tutorials like this last, uh, last week on the weekend I did it. Was it on the weekend? Oh, I, I can't even remember. Yeah, time flies by. You never know. <laughs> time goes so fast. Just looking at my tutorials. Uh, yeah, two days ago I did one hat. And three days ago I did one hat. Yeah, it feels like a long time ago. And I did a tutorial on a stitch. Yeah, definitely. You guys take care. I'll see you on my next video. Happy knitting and happy new year again. I didn't say uh, this uh, happy new year on uh, this uh, video, but I did it on the previous happy new year. And I wish the best for 2023. Uh, for me, this year is not going well. First, uh, yeah, it's not going well. I The first year uh, on January 1st, 2nd and 3rd, I made sales on my Etsy shop. It's the 10th. So far, it's crickets. Nothing. Nothing at all. No movements. It's sad, but it's true. And, uh, well, there's still days, right? We still have uh, 12 months to go. So I'm hoping it will uh, catch up. And uh, it will bring happiness to us for 2023. Good luck, everybody. And I'll see you on my next video. Again, Happy New Year, 2023. Happy knitting, happy crocheting. Bye-bye.